Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. Hello and welcome to another Inks Comparison video and this is Sheen Monster Inks Comparison number 2. So I think with that let's go and swab up some of these inks. So I get a lot of questions on how I do these ink videos. So I decided I would add this to the front of each of the ink videos. I put links in the description, but I know some of you watch this on TVs or mobile devices, so you don't get to see this. So first off, the paper is the number one question that I get asked. What paper do I use for these ink comparison videos? So this is the original Tomoe River. This is 52 GSM and it is the white not the cream the white where possible i try to go for the white because the cream can actually change the color of the ink just a little bit so this is tomoe river 52 gsm in the white um a lot of people get confused as well because i have what looks to be a grid on this page and it's actually an oxford optic pad these are the pads that i actually use when i'm writing my uh, writing samples for pen reviews or in my currently ink so they have these little squares up here uh, i just use that because it's a good guide for me when i put this very thin sheet of tomoe river over i can actually see squares so it helps me write a little bit sort of straight uh, on the page not always but sometimes it does the, the other thing that I also have is a I have a bottle of water, plain water, and uh, I dip my nib in here. So for consistency, I use the same fountain pen, or <laughs> I guess it's not a fountain pen. It's using a fountain pen nib, though. This is a 3D printed pen from William Shakur in the UK. So he prints this uh, material 3d and it has a number eight size bock nib which i can unscrew and you can see there so it is just a dip pen holder for a number eight size bock nib and the idea is i want to have consistency with the writing sample so i use this i dip it in the ink uh, I write and then I will dip it in here and I will rinse the nib off several times and I will dry it and then at that point uh, I will then go on to do the next ink swatch and the next writing sample. So there you have it, that's uh, how I do my ink swatches. So I just wanted to show you uh, that here. Now on to the ink comparison video. So the first ink here is uh, a Colt Pens Diamine Exclusive, and this is the Iridescent Robert. So we'll do an ink swatch here, and uh, hopefully you'll see here that this is quite a uh, lovely uh, coloured red ink. And we'll do, uh, because this is a Sheen Monster video, we're not going to necessarily just do a second pass over the top half but we are just going to try and layer this with a lot of ink because the whole idea here is that I want to show this sheen and I can already see some gold sheen here so this is Colt Pens and it is Robert But I can already start to see uh, that ink sheening there. The next ink on this Sheen Monster video is Diamine Lavender. Now, I should say that on most of these inks, I have seen them sheen before. It doesn't necessarily guarantee that they're going to sheen on this video, but I'll try and make them sheen. So we'll do another ink swatch here. And this is an interesting color. Now, I have seen sheen on purple inks and also uh, some mauve inks as well. Certainly some darker blue inks. We're going to try and make this one sheen. I have seen a slight amount of sheen on this one before. Uh, but we'll try and see if we can get it to sheen uh, and see if that will work. So this is Diamine. 
and it is a lavender. But I do know that this one doesn't sheen a huge amount. So it's going to be interesting to see if I can capture this on camera or not. The next ink is another Diamine Culp Pens exclusive. And this is the Iridescent Maureen. So we'll do another ink swatch here. And this is a uh, very dark blue. A uh, punchy blue as well. So I will again layer this ink on here and see if we can show the sheen. Uh, this is quite a viscousy ink. It should show a beautiful red sheen. So let's see if we can show that there on camera. So this is Colt Pens. And it is Maureen. And a lot of these sheeny inks typically are blues or purples. Although you can sometimes get them uh, as a red ink as well or a brown. Sometimes even a pink and occasionally an orange as well. The next ink here is Diamine Purple Rain. So we'll do an ink swatch. And again, this is another very viscousy uh, ink, very thick ink. So we're going to layer this on a little bit. And try and show this sheen. So this is Diamine. And it is purple. And it is rain. But that uh, is uh, an interesting ink. Uh, a very uh, dark purple. And I think I'm going to get some sheen on that as well. The next ink here is Diamine Majestic Blue. Now I would actually say... If you have trouble getting the caps off, it's likely that they are welded shut with some sheen. So there is some sheen here on uh, that bottle there. So we'll do an ink swatch. And again, another thick viscousy ink. We'll try and layer this ink on a little bit to show the sheen there. So this is Diamine, and it is Majestic Blue, and then the last ink here is Diamine Imperial Blue. So we'll do an ink swatch, and again, a fairly viscous uh, ink, not as thick though as the previous majestic blue but we'll put this on a little bit thicker so that we can try and see if we can coax some sheen out of this this one isn't a great sheener but i have seen this sheen in the past so this is diamine and uh, it is imperial blue That is uh, quite a nice ink. So I think let's take a look at these inks now that they have dried. So the first pen, the first ink here is Colt Pens Robert. And uh, let me show you this up close. Uh, this is a really beautiful ink. Uh, a very heavy sheening ink as well. Uh, so it is a red ink. But you have this greenish, goldish sheen to that ink. Now, if I show you there the writing sample, you can also see that sheen very heavily on that writing sample. But the sheen really appears more around the pulled areas of that ink. But I have to say that is a really nice sheening ink. 
the next thing is diamine lavender and i have seen this sheen a few times before and i'd have to say that um i am seeing some sheen here now can you see the shading going on on this ink yes you definitely can there's a lot of shading in that pulled area there um can you see some sheen as well yes there is around the edges but it's not a hugely sheening ink. There's maybe a little bit on the writing sample there, but I would say it's more so on the ink swatch that you really will see that sheening going on. The next ink is the Diamine Colt Pens Maureen exclusive, and this is a, a nice blue ink, but... Um, you don't see a lot of shading going on here, uh, but there is a huge amount of sheen. Just look at that red, bright red sheen going on. And you can also see it there in the writing sample as well. So uh, this uh, reminds me very much of um, the Organics Studio Nitrogen. Um, it is quite a uh, blue ink with a red sheen. Now, the next ink here is Diamine Purple Rain. And this is definitely an interesting ink for sure. It's definitely more of a dark purple. But look at that gold sheen to it. And this is more of a gold sheen than a green sheen. But l just look at that sheen. Um, there isn't a huge amount of shading going on, uh, just a huge amount of sheen. And you can see that sheen there on the writing sample as well. So that really is uh, a very interesting sheening ink. The next ink here is Diamine Majestic Blue. And I always see a lot of sheen from this ink. Uh, again, there's not a huge amount of shading because it is just pure monster sheen but it's a lovely blue ink and if i show you here up close you'll see that sort of reddish sheen going on on that ink uh really is quite mesmerizing uh you can also see it on that writing sample as well so uh that is interesting as well uh, I typically have seen this a lot on um, uh, ink samples and ink swatches I've done in the past and also letters I've written is that uh, when this goes on uh, quite thick, you will see a lot of sheen. Now, the other ink here that I do see some sheen on now and again is Diamine Imperial Blue, but it's nowhere near as sheening as Diamine Majestic Blue. So you do see a little bit of shading going on here, mostly because there isn't a lot of sheen. However, you can see some sheen here, some gold sheen around the edges of that pooled area. Not a huge amount, but you can see some there. Now, in terms of uh, the writing sample, I'm not really seeing any there, but you can just see that that gold sheen coming out. So um, you do get some gold sheen on it, but not a huge amount. I suspect if you left that inked up in a pen for a few months, let some of the water uh, evaporate out of the ink and then write with it, you probably would see some quite nice sort of gold sheen on the writing sample. Uh, but I haven't obviously done that here. So, so you're not really going to see that there. So this is my Sheen Monster inks comparison number two video. If there are any of these inks that you like, do let me know in the comments below. And likewise, if there are any other Sheening inks that you would like me to compare, then do let me know in the comments below. So this is my Sheen Monster inks comparison number two video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.